welcome once again. This is Jonathan Lagani. Uh, glad uh, that you tuned in uh, to witness another episode of this exciting edition of Dreams, Revelations, and Interpretation. Well, so far, I believe it's been highly inspirational and educating uh, the previous episodes. Uh, if you're watching this by now, I believe you have followed all the episodes uh, from the beginning and you should have been able to acquire a level of understanding, a basic understanding on uh, dreams and what it's all about and uh, possibly be able to learn uh, to understand the mechanisms of interpreting your dreams. I'm so glad that all that we do are based on the Word of God, based on the scriptures of the Holy Bible. So it can be a common ground, a common platform for everyone to understand. And we will have a step further today. I will trust that tomorrow. As Father, I pray for my dear listener, viewer right now, that you will open your understanding by the Spirit of Wisdom and Revelation. Because that you may be glorified, because that you may enlighten and inspire the world in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Um, I felt it in my heart as to have as one of the episodes uh, reasons why dreams don't come in plain language. There will be a lot of people, particularly who is watching right now who have had difficulties interpreting their dreams, difficulties interpreting the revelations that God has given to them in dreams. Uh, some in years past and even recently. And there will be people who have always asked in their hearts, why do we have to struggle with understanding the language of dreams and interpreting them? Why can't God just be plain? Why does he have to involve a lot of things and then have a more of going to decipher and try to understand everything spoken in them? Well, if you are such a person and you have those persons in your heart, I believe by the help of God that this episode will try or attempt to give an answer to that. And of course, everything we do are scriptural. And, uh, so just come with me to the Word of God. Let's look at reasons why dreams don't come in plain languages. I read through scriptures and then we'll begin to bring out the reasons so you can understand. First of all, Messiah chapter 12, verse 10, the popular scripture that we have used in previous, one of the previous episodes. And I want to read the King James translation. It says, I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. Now, I told us earlier in the previous episodes that dreams are a kind of vision. They are visualistic. You see in dreams, your spiritual senses are tuned on in the aspect of vision. So, dreams are a kind of vision. But mostly visions that come to you when you are unconscious, in an unconscious state or asleep. So, here is God speaking. That one major way by which He speaks to His people is through visions, he multiplies visions. And you could say that God would give series of dreams just to be able to reveal a particular message or to pass a warning. Or to bring to understanding something that is worthy of us. And he used the word similitudes. Similitude means um, using things that are common with our natural environment to try to interpret spiritual realities or to try to uh, give a pictorial view of futuristic events. Those are similitudes. When God uses things around us, you remember the scripture we used in Romans chapter 1, verse 20, that says the invisible things of the Godhead are clearly revealed in His power. 
by the things that are seen, the things that are common around us. God will try to relate with our world, try to relate with our understanding, try to relate with our environment. And so He will use the things that are common to us to try to bring to understand the things that may not be common, that may be strange, but that may be uh, futuristic events. So that's the first scripture. The second scripture will be Job chapter 33. Job chapter 33. And I would like to read this. Um, it's about four verses we are going to read here. And possibly in different translations for a better understanding. There are a few things I want us to keep from this particular chapter. Now, this is also a scripture we have used uh, so that we can have better understanding. From verse 14, For God may speak in one way or in another, yet man does not perceive it, or man does not understand it. So God will speak in different ways. Sometimes our dreams uh, may keep coming because God is trying to come one thing but there is the difficulty of understanding for men in a dream a vision of the night when deep sleep falls upon them while slumbering on their beds so this the context of this scripture is on dreams particularly then he opens the ears of them and seals their instructions and seals their instruction he's sending a message to them but it's coming sealed I remember there's a scripture in Isaiah where, you know, the prophet was, I think it's Isaiah 28, uh, where he said the scroll was given to a man who was unlearned and uh, asked to read. And he said, I cannot because it is, uh, I can't because I cannot read, I'm unlearned. And it was given to a man who was learned. And the man said, I, I cannot read because it is sealed. Sometimes some messages can come, but not in plain form. They need to be decoded and that's the language of dreams that's what we are seeing here and even though god has released a message to men through dreams in their sleep and this message in verse 17 says so that he can turn man from his deep sometimes it will come as warnings sometimes it can come to turn us around to be in line with God's purposes. But these messages are coming sealed. That's the reason for this episode. We want to know why our dreams are usually sealed or difficult to understand. So verse 17 says, in order to turn man from his deep and conceal pride from man. So there is a tendency that, you know, too much knowledge uh, of some. That's what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 8, that knowledge of some, but charity, love, and fight. Sometimes the biggest problem of mankind is too much knowledge. We know so much and it becomes a snare. Sometimes knowing that you know so much may actually make you proud or arrogant or make you not feel the need to seek help or to seek dependence both on God and on men to know more. That's the reason that's one of the reasons why sometimes the dreams of God say languages. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 29, verse 29, that the secret things belong to God. Our God is a God of secrecy. But then the things he reveals are to us. So we are at the mercy of the things that he reveals to us, as well as we have advantage based on the things that are revealed to us. To reveal means to disclose, to unlock uh, something that has been hidden. So let's, with the understanding of the scripture, go to the reasons why your dreams don't come in plain language. And I believe you will appreciate these reasons. And I believe to spoil you, to gain understanding, and to be able to see God. Reason number one dreams which are sourced primarily from God are God's wisdom and shrouded in secrecy. Of course, we know that primarily dreams come from God, they are sourced from God. 
they have other sources but God is the main source because God is the creator of the realm of the spirit he is the secret things belongs to him so every dream is God's wisdom that is enshrouded in secrecy that means that your understanding of a dream is the unlocking into a dimension of the wisdom of God that a man can acquire that gives that man an advantage on earth. So why will God send messages to us that are enshrouded in secrecy? Why don't just why why don't just be plain, you know, with what you I give it to us? I give you some of the things I wrote here. The reason is because number one, so that man may be humble enough to seek God for answers. God knows that if He reveals everything to you and you have the understanding, there's you you may you may you may come to a point where consciously and unconsciously you have developed a lifestyle and a pattern that leaves a path from God. You may not see the need to go back to God to find answers. And truly, God is the answer to everything. He's the creator of all things. He created everything for his purpose. And the revelation of his purpose is the answers that we need to the problems or the things that we see in life. So the first reason for why God's wisdom will be enshrouded in secrecy through dreams is so that man may be humble enough to seek him. He says, call upon me and I'll answer you and show you great and mighty things which you know not of. So you have to be humble enough. That means to God, prayer is first of all a registration of humility. When a man prays, he has shown God how humble he is to find answers from God. Another reason is so that the wisdom of God might be made known to man. So that the wisdom of God might be made known unto man. This is the reason why God's wisdom is enshrouded in secrecy. He's not hiding it from us. He's hiding it for us. That's what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2. That these things were hidden for our glory. He wants this wisdom to be made known to us. So that we can walk in dominion on the earth. Remember that by wisdom he founded the earth. Proverbs 3.19 So he wants it to be revealed to you. But you have to be humble enough to see Number two reason why dreams don't come in plain language is so that the spiritual man can have the advantage. 1 Corinthians 2.15 He says, But a spiritual man judges all things. The word judge there is the word discern, is the word perceive, is the word to understand. But he himself cannot be understood by a natural man. Meanwhile, the verse before that, which is verse 14, says a natural man cannot understand spiritual things. Who is a natural man? A natural man is one who is not born again, who doesn't have the life of God in him. A man living in the form of the first Adam. A man who is living in inclination to self and to the systems of this world. A man whose ideology is based on the world's concept and points of view. Such a man cannot understand spiritual things. They are foolishness to him because it is a wisdom that needs to be decoded. The Bible says, Neither can he know them. He cannot even grasp the knowledge of them because they are spiritually designed. But for a spiritual man, he has the advantage. Why? Because he has been taught by the Holy Ghost. So if you're a spiritual man, if you're a born again person, if you have the life of God in you, then it's your moment to rejoice because. It is to your advantage when God speaks in dreams. When it doesn't come in plain language, He gives you access to a wisdom that even principalities cannot understand or decode. And remember, the Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 3, I believe in verse 10 or 12, that we are meant to demonstrate this wisdom in a way that it humbles principalities and powers. But remember, is locked up in your revel in the revelation of these dreams by God as you seek him in prayers. Number three 
reason why dreams don't come to plain language is to prevent the civilization of self or self-sufficiency in man. Right from when man fell in the garden, man started a civilization that is apart from God. It's called self, self-dependent, self-sufficient, self-advancement. Everything is just about him and he lives in a little island of himself. Isolated from the vast wisdom of God. And that was not how God created us to be. God created us as beings that would depend on Him by default. The Bible says in Him we live, we move, and have our being. Our dominion on earth as men is based on our dependence on His superiority, our acknowledged element, and our dependence on His superiority. So that's the reason why your dream will come in plain language. That it will not come in plain language and then you'll have it. So that you don't start depending on yourself. Think of it if you knew everything complicated in the dream. There are tendencies that you may not even believe after a while that there is even the existence of God. But because it is hidden in codes, you are forced to look for and to seek God. And that's what God designed that man, his choicest creation, will be turned back to. So it is to prevent the civilization of self. Let's stop feeling that, you know, thinking or going with the notion that we know everything, but we have everything. Let's go back to the genesis of all things, which is God. In the beginning, God, Genesis 1, verse 1. And then finally, the reason why your dreams will not come in plain that is because and you will love this one this one is really exciting is because you will doubt it if it were to be plain i'll give you an example when the prophet elisha in second kings chapter 7 prophesied how god was going to turn the farmer in samira in 24 hours there was a man who served the king and what did he say he said even if god was to open the windows of heaven now, now, with all due respect, that was a foolish statement. Had he read history, he would have realized that the first time God opened the windows of heaven, there was so much rain on the earth that everything was destroyed. Now, that depicts, I know that rain was, that flood was for judgment, but that also depicts abundance. And he says in Malachi chapter 3 that he will open the windows of heaven and pour out for us blessings that we cannot conceive. Why would such an Israeli be negligent of Israel, of history, and then feel that God was not able to turn the situation around within 24 hours? That was because I believe the message came plainly. You know, as human beings, we have an element of the supernatural in us. And we believe that the supernatural is supposed to be a world or a realm that is beyond and above us. So most times we seem to have regard or respect for anything that comes uh, enshrouded in mysteries or in secret. When it looks difficult, that's when we tend to believe that it comes from a supernatural or a superior dimension. But if you were to come in plain, simple language, and that the, the very best example of such is the salvation of mankind. How is it accessible? just by the preaching of the cross and the bible tells us in first corinthians 1 that so foolish is this message of the cross that even the jews that it came to first despised it and they have stumbled over it like a man walking on the street and that's why it has come to us the gentiles if we were to be plain brothers and sisters you would ignore it you will not even believe it you'll be the first one to doubt it but when it comes very difficult Something in you tells you this is coming from a superior dimension, and you need to understand and crack the codes and know what it's saying and how it affects your future. Thank you very much. And I believe that this point uh, will bring understanding and bring soup up uh, to uh, the questions you've had in your heart for why your dreams are usually not in the language. I'll see you in the next episode for more enlightenment of this subject. God bless you.